Right, we're now going to look at differentiation involving fractions. Now, if you haven't looked at the differentiation introduction yet, make sure you watch that video before watching this video. So, differentiate the following. Number 1, y equals x plus 5, sorry, x to the power of 5 plus 3 all over x. Now, we can't differentiate this as it is at the moment. So, what we need to do is we need to split this into two separate fractions. So we've got two parts here. We've got y equals x to the power of 5 over x. And we've also got 3 over x. So we've got two separate parts. Now, you should remember here that x to the power of 5 divided by x to the power of 1. Well, that's going to simplify to x to the power of 4. And also, when you're looking at a over, 1 over, you should remember from the first chapter that that means the power of minus 1. So this becomes 3x to the power of minus 1. Now, the differentiation is exactly the same as before. So, divide by the x. So, 4 times x to the power of 3. Plus, or is it minus? Let's check. Minus 1 times 3 becomes minus 3. X to the power of, take 1 off the power, so minus 1, take away 1, is minus 2. Now, this isn't the final answer. The final answer is we need to change this bit here back to being a fraction, because that's not the final answer. We prefer this to be 1 over x squared. So, the final answer is 4x cubed minus 3 over x squared. So that's the final answer. And make sure if you have got a negative power that you rewrite it as a fraction. Next example, we've got to do the same thing here. So we've got the question y equals x squared plus 3 times x square root of x all over the square root of x. So y equals x squared plus 3 over x. Now we're going to split this into two fractions again. So our common denominator here is the square root of x. Now we can simplify both these two bits. Now what you should notice over here is that there's a square root of x and a square root of x so they cancel and here on this side, we can do x squared minus the square root of x. Now, you should remember that the square root of x is the same as a half. x to the power of a half plus 3. So now, you're going to do x squared divided by x to the power of half, which becomes x to the power of 3 over 2, as you subtract them. So y equals x to the power of 3 over 2 plus 3. Now, we can now differentiate this, so dy by dx. So you've got to times through by the power of 3 over 2. Now this is where it gets a bit complicated because we've got to take 1 away than 3 over 2. So let's just do our little work in the side. So 3 over 2 minus 1. Now 1 is made up of 2 halves, so you could rewrite that as 3 over 2 minus 2 over 2, which you should remember is a half. So the power we're left with is the power of a half, and there's absolutely no harm in your exam of writing a little bit of extra work in the side like I've done. And remember that the 3 is the same as saying 3 times x to the power of 0, so that vanishes because 0 times 3 is nothing. Now we do want to just tidy up our answer here. Instead of writing the final answer with a fraction in it, like we've got here, we want to change this x to the power of a half back to the square root of x. So the final answer you should have here is 3 over 2 times the square root of x. And that is differentiation involving fractions.